Hello friends, this is Leo from Brazil and I'm going to show you the basics of the Subtractor Synthesizer in Reason and I'm going to be really straightforward because the 5 minutes class is not enough time to talk about it but uh, here in this sub uh, Subtractor Synthesizer you start working with two oscillators that create different waveforms and a noise generator uh, the oscillator here can create uh, the four basic uh, waveforms and uh, a lot of different waveforms 32 to be precise so you can have 32 different uh, s basic sounds to start with and the second oscillator is the same thing so you can mix different kind of waves if you want to change uh, the frequency of the oscillator you're gonna use this octave button here and the semitones or the semitones to change the pitch of the wave and in the second oscillator is the same if you only have the first oscillator on you're gonna have like a straight um, waveform playing but you turn the second oscillator or the noise you have to do the the mixing here so if you turn it all to the left you have only the first oscillator sound if we turn it all to the right, you're going to have the oscillator 2 and the noise together because they are routed together. But if you put it in the middle, you're going to have like a blend of these three uh, basic uh, sound generators. Then the sound comes to this filter here. Uh, the filter can be uh, programmed to be a low pass 12 dB filter, a low pass 24 dB filter, a notch filter, a high pass 12 dB filter or a band pass 12 filter. Uh, these two knobs here work, uh, these faders work like the frequency, uh, the cutoff frequency. So you, you bring it all down, you're going to cut in the low hertz frequency. If you bring it all up, you're going to be cutting in the little, bot, little more high frequency. And the resonance is going to be uh, the, the way, the peak of the wave in the cutoff frequency. So if you change the frequency here, you change the Hertz scale. And this is, you change just only the peak of the cutoff frequency to uh, work with the sound. You also have a second filter that's a simple uh, low pass 12 dB filter that you can turn it on so uh, you use it uh, as a second filter together with the first filter and the other basic uh, control here is the amp envelope that works with the ADSR or attack, uh, decay, sustain and release uh, system and it uh, controls completely the, the level, the work, uh, the way the level, uh, master level uh, uh, affects the sound. So if you bring the tech up it's gonna be a more slowly entering sound. If you have the tech at zero it uh, the sound starts immediately and you have the decay of this uh, level here or and the sustain and the release. So I'm gonna show you the basic sound. If you have only one wave playing you can miss change the sound using the filter and the attack here and you can expand like a whole life changing these faders and knobs and finding the most crazy and different sounds you can ever make so any synthesizer is a really uh, fertile ground to start working with and if you have time you're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope this was uh, good for you guys and you can uh, anyway use it as a basic start uh, to play with your synthesizers at home and it's a real fun way to start working with music. So. Thanks for watching and I hope it was a good time spent. Bye.